Hi, Ruslan. Hello. So, can you explain us what you're doing right now? So, basically here we have the analog uh, test bench where we test uh, analog signal and uh, where we um, try to optimize the, the analog processing and also we have here the detectors, basically the, the part which registers the cosmic rays. So, and okay, uh, so that's the thing between your hand. Yeah, so this is uh, a scintillator plate. So inside there is an insulator. It's wrapped because the scintillator produces uh, light, so uh, it has to be, uh, we have to protect it from the ambient light, otherwise uh, uh, we cannot see anything. And I see, uh, so if you don't wrap it, or because you have some light detector inside. Right. Because when the particle crosses, uh, when cosmics cross the scintillator, uh, they produce light. So basically, the small splashes of light in the point where the particle crosses the, the detector, and then that light is actually captured by fiber, which connected to the uh, light detectors. Okay. And and here you can see two wires coming from those uh, detectors and what we do so basically we uh, connect those wires those detectors Ooh, another slab. to uh, pre-amplifier boards which uh, amplifies the signal and uh, actually in these boards we have uh, two outputs for each channel so that we can study them uh, separately and basically we have uh, one output where signal is non-amplified non and another one where it's amplified by five. I see. How much is the signal before amplification? Uh, the amplitude is around uh, 50, 100 millivolts. Oh, can we see this on the oscilloscope? Right, so the... Here actually, you this is actually amplified signal already five right. times so and here it's one volt per division so five times less yeah it's about uh, 100 200 millivolts and all of these peaks which are happening right now is light created by cosmic rays going through the detector right right so at the moment at the this moment actually particles are crossing the sensor and we hear here we see immediately the signal and uh, this is the actual signal produced by the cosmic rays Wow. So then, uh, so we take the, the non-amplified signal, and then we send that signal. Basically, these two wires, we send them to uh, a first module, wow. which uh, inverts that signal. So basically, just we create from that signal a inverted one. Okay. Negative. And uh, then. We send that the output of that signal to a uh, discriminator module, where which generates a square pulse if uh, the signal is below a certain threshold. So since it's negative, uh, so it's about uh, at the moment it's about 500 or yeah 500 millivolts. So any signal which is below 500 minus 500 millivolts generates a square pulse. So that's to remove the noise, which is smaller signal, right? Yes. And then uh, this signal, these two signals, we send to a coincidence unit, which generate a signal if uh, those two overlap. So basically, if uh, we have two signals uh, which are appearing at the same time, it generates another signal which is the coincidence between those two and uh, this signal is actually our trigger the signal which we will use uh, in electronics to initiate the uh, uh, digitization of the of the analog signal and uh, so actually that was the one part of the signal that was the non amplified part and then basically the same signal if you can see here we have a t connector basically we split the signal into two pieces 
two parts. Okay. And then the other part goes to the shaper. And this shaper, so we have two channels, this shaper generates a long uh, bipolar signal, which we can see on the scope. So if I uh, reduce the time scale here, you start seeing a long signal. So this is the shaped signal. So basically... So this, this is a small signal you showed us, which is shaped into that. All right. So basically the, this signal has uh, information about the original one. Basically the amplitude of that signal should be proportional to the integral of the original one. And uh, basically we will use that signal in our electronics in order to convert the, the, actual, the um, original charge into digital representation. So basically ADC will process that signal. Okay, and so this signal be, will be sampled. Yeah, and this signal has to be long uh, because the sampling frequency in our ADC is not so uh, fast. So we need to have a long signal so that we have enough samples for per that signal. Uh, voilà. And Thank uh, you. then so we will take basically we will take the analog signals uh, non-digit, non-digit, non-amplified. We will take the shaped signals and then we will send them to a uh, fast ADC, where those signals will be digitized very precisely. It's a very fast uh, ADC. It generates uh, 500 mega samples per second, so we can really study the signals in details. And using that system, we can optimize the analog uh, readout. Thanks for explanation. If you want more information. You can just go on cosmiceye.org.